Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. So today we are going to see in Ubuntu 22.04 as a student developer, as a student or a developer, what are the different packages you need to install on Ubuntu 22.04 immediately after you install it. So in this video we are going to see all those packages. So it is mandatorily you can uh, install all these packages so that uh, Ubuntu will run comfortably with all the development libraries so to begin with always you go with sudo apt update so this is always uh, the required one because the update package manager will be updating the uh, recently updated information from the uh, synaptic so that's why we need to use always the update afterwards the general development library is called as sudo apt install uh, build essential so this is very important it uh, downloads it all the uh, essentials for the building any source code in development then auto conf then auto make so auto configuration and auto making then we have lib xmu hyphen dev so this is a development for x libraries x libraries means gui libraries so these are the things that you can able to install so then what you can do is uh, sudo apt you can in case if you want you can use g plus plus and gcc then python 3 uh, can use python 3 development so generally python have uh, the python 3 development and pip also there so pip 3 so this also there for uh, python uh, develop, uh, downloading installing python libraries so these things you can install next thing is java so java it should be installed so whenever you type java or java c it will be giving you a package name so generally if you see that jdk 8 and jdk 11 or uh, uh, long term support long term support means uh, they can be useful for uh, many uh, years support so they can be many years support uh, oracle gives for these two things and the latest one so for example if you see when i type java it, it will give you see uh, open jdk 8 open jdk 11 will be there and uh, this is default jra and open jdk 17 and 18 which is the recent one so similarly when you type java c you can get this information so it is open jdk uh, open jdk 11 open jdk 17 so you can have multiple versions of java also in ubuntu so that whenever you want to change the corresponding jdk you can able to change that so first let me go with sudo apt update yes it's done and sudo apt install you can download this build essential then auto conf, then auto make, then libxmu hyphen dev, then uh, python 3 hyphen dev, then pip3, then uh, jdk. So I can use default hyphen jdk, I can use so that uh, the latest uh, jdk will be installed. In case if you want, you can able to use the other one also. So open jdk hyphen 8 hyphen jdk. So then you can use for node.js, you can use node.js command. Then for node.js package manager, you can use npm there. So and uh, if uh, VLC, if you want a VLC media playbook, so I am doing it in a virtual machine. So PIP3 is not there. So I'll just go with PIP. Yes, so it almost installs 368 MB. Now you can see uh, the installation is happening here. So once you have these things ready, uh, then uh, your Ubuntu or your Linux operating system will be having the uh, complete information of all the developmental libraries. And not only then, if you want uh, Eclipse editor, if you want NetBeans editor, so those things also you can able to write right away install using the command prompt. Now in my next video, I will be showing you uh, having multiple Javas. So how can you be able to change your uh, uh, Java runtime environment? So for example, if you want to use Java 8 instead of the latest Java, then how can you be able to use it? So these are the softwares that we can able to uh, uh, install. So sudo apt install. I can uh, give you all the packages there. So here oh, history. So I will just give you the packages here. So these are the things that uh, any student developer can able to install it. So as and when required, all softwares can be 
installed through command or terminal mode so i have given uh, all the commands that is needed by a student or a developer and uh, some more uh, packages also you can install so in case we have any queries on how to install a particular package in ubuntu operating system or any linux flavor please uh, send it in the uh, comment line below thanks for watching subscribe to my channel